Hey guys, Jacoby here. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Legends Deluxe series Black Widow in the White Suit. Uh, this is from the Black Widow movie, which got delayed to November, which is really disappointing. It went, it went from April to November. That's a long time, but I guess that's how it has to be with the whole virus going on. So, yeah, unfortunately it did get delayed. I don't have any of the Black Widow movie figures yet, except for this one, but I am happy with this one, you know. It has a bunch of accessories, as, is, as it is the first deluxe figure, I think. Um, she does come with a stand, a bunch of explosion things, so I'm excited to get into those. But first, before I get into the figure and the accessories, I will get into the packaging really quick. Looks pretty cool here. It is a pretty big box. I think it's the same size box as Venom, uh, as they are both considered deluxe figures, I guess. But um, here we have the Black Widow um, movie logo. Got the Black Widow hourglass thing back there. Nice picture of Black Widow. I really like the art style they have going on here. The black and white and just her red hair. Looks really cool. On top, we have the Black Widow hourglass once again. In the back, we have a product shot of the Black Widow with her suit and the uh, stand and the explosions and everything. So it is pretty cool. Here's pictures of the stand and what it can do. Marvel Legends logo up here and her bio if you'd like to read it. Alright, so here's the figure out with all the accessories laid out in front of her. As you can tell, there are a lot of accessories. She comes with a few explosions, a few gunshot things, a few weapons, the stand obviously, and the extra hands. First off, I will start with the figure and what I have her with. Right now, I have her with the gun holding hands and her two pistols. I think these are Russian origin guns, I'm not sure. Uh, that's what I've heard from other reviewers. I'm not too sure about gun information, but yeah, they are nicely sculpted. I'm not too sure if they're new, though. Uh, I think they are. I don't know. I never take a look at the pistols all that much. But, you know, they are both the same on each hand. I'm just going to take that out. But yeah, she also does come with a gun holster that's empty, so you can actually port that in there very easily, as you can tell. Uh, it's not just one of those old sculpted on guns on in the holster. Uh, which is very good. You can actually port it in and take it out. So, you know, it's not like those old holsters with the sculpted guns. So that's really cool to have. Uh, let's put the figure to the side real quick. Got the explosion effects right here. Uh, start off with the big one. Um, it looks very nice. I think this has been put in the Star Wars sets before. I'm not sure. I don't really collect Star Wars figures at all. I just have a few of the basic ones, but... You know, here's the explosion. It has the ball joint peg thing down here, which you could port into one of these. I will show that off later. I uh, got this smaller explosion, same ball peg thing. Um, it, it looks kind of weird to me compared to this one. I don't know. Just maybe the way the red goes with the orange. I don't know. They could have gone with some more paint on uh, the bubbles, but no, oh, it looks fine. Looks cool. Got these things. I don't know. I don't know what these are. They're like the slanted Iron Man effect. Um, same with these, but these are separate, you know, red and orange. Uh, this one is the triple one connected by one port. And then these ones obviously are separate. So yeah, they are just kind of the Iron Man effects, but slanted. I don't know why they would do that. Maybe it's like gunshots on the floor. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. Uh, here she has the, the other hand. Uh, this one's just the open hand, you know, just for holding anything else, such as these things, which I will get to later. Got the fisted hands, which she did come packaged with, so, you know, same thing we've seen before, just white. Uh, got these electro electrocute things. If you just take the, off the hand and put it on her wrist, it'll look like she's electrocuting the person with the things, which we have seen in the Civil War movie. Uh, and then these things right here, no one knows what these are. Um... <laughs> I don't know what they are. Maybe they're supposed to be like some grappling hook thing. I don't, I don't know. Maybe we were supposed to find out in the movie, but you know, it's delayed to November, like I said. So we won't be finding out until then. But you know, they're just cool little weapons. I don't know. Maybe like climbing things. Not too sure. All right. So before I get into the figure, I will get into the stand really quick. Um, it's pretty bulky. I think it's Hasbro's first stand for Marvel Legends in a while. I don't even know if Toy Biz has one, but you know, just fill me in in the comments below if you do know. Uh, I don't think this stand will break as easily as the other stands, though, because the other stands go by joints, and those are easily snapped and broken um, when you're moving them. This one goes on a zipper, so I don't think it can really break all that much, because the the worst that can happen is just it comes off, and you can just put it back on, I'm assuming. So, you know, I don't think it can break. Uh, it is connected by this thing with the clamp right here, which is a spring. Uh, so it does just automatically go around the figure. So 
that's less of a chance of that breaking as well. Um, so, you know, this can move like this, this can rotate, uh, this can go up and down, obviously, this rotates wherever you put it. Uh, there are nine points to put it wherever you want, and along with the explosions with the ball points, uh, you know, just plug it in real quick. It does not make a snapping sound, you just have to push in and it goes in. So yeah, that's cool. You have a lot of posing options with that. Just stick Black Widow up here like you saw. All right, so here's the figure all alone with no other accessories other than the guns and her holsters. And I must, I must say, this is a very clean figure. I like it. Uh, I'm a big fan of this suit because, you know, it's just different. Uh, it's just all white. I really like it. It makes it look really clean. Uh, my only real complaint is really her posture because the way she was packaged, she was like starfished almost. Um, and I did see someone on YouTube like rubber band all their limbs together. It was kind of weird, but uh, he did do that for three days and it made all their limbs parallel. I think mine is fine as it is right now. I might do it to my Infinity War Black Widow because uh, she is, her legs are like very, like, I don't know, weird. They're like this. So I might do uh, the rubber band thing to this one just to fix it up. Uh, but this one seems fine right now. Uh, as you could tell, the other one's legs was like that, like this. This one seems to be straight enough. So, you know, I'm okay with it. Uh, there's really no paint on this as it is just white plastic. I, like I said, it's really clean though. I really like it. Sculpting's really nice too. Uh, really well done. There's just a few red spots all around like up here. Really no paint mess ups. So, I mean, there's a few, there's a few black spots up there, but it's very small. Uh, the red looks really good. The hourglass symbol has been done really good. You know, it's really small red that they've done. It's really clean. Um, you know, I think they've used this body like three times in this wave. I'm not sure, though. But for Yelena, though, uh, I might use this body for my Black Widow stop motion later in the year if I do make it. Um, I might just throw on the Infinity War vest onto this body instead because I don't want to use that. Uh, Yelena body that they made with the actual Yelena figure. I've seen modifications on Instagram of Yelena and it looks really good with this body with the vest and everything so I might do that later in the year but for now I will just stay with this because I really do like the way it looks. The face sculpt though uh, you know it's just the same looks really good looks like her. Uh, the thing is I think the other one from previous figures look better I don't know. I, I feel like this looks more like her but, you know, this does look somewhat better because this is glossy for some reason. This one's matte, so it's a bit more realistic. I do like it. Really no problem. Uh, the red hair has some shading in it. You know, everything's just clean, you know. Not much to say about it. Um, I thought it would be a worse figure, to be honest, because all my Black Widows seem to have a problem with the legs or the, the holster. Like, this one, once again, not just the legs, but the holster's, like, lopsided down. Can't get a fix for that, so, you know. There is problems with my Black Widow figures, but this one seems to be the best one so far. Um, so yeah, uh, not much else to say. I will get into the articulation. So for the articulation of this figure, uh, her head can go down this much, can go up that. Uh, I don't know. I think her hair like kind of uh, hinders it, but she can look up this much without the actual like joint thing moving. She's just moving on the ball peg, but her arms can go all the way around. Can't really go up that much because of the um, shoulder pad here. It's sculpted on, I think, so it's not all that soft. Single jointed elbow still, uh, wrist rotation and wrist hinge. If you push down on this, oh, actually, it's a side to side wrist hinge. I didn't know that. You know, I think it's different for each of her hands. Let me check. Um, so yeah, the fisted ones are wrist hinge, like up and down. The gun holsters are, or the gun holding hands are up and down uh, hinges. I didn't see that before, so sorry about that. Uh, no waist rotation at all. She has the diaphragm joint, goes like this, goes back this much, goes forward this much. Uh, her leg can kick out this much, go back this much. Thigh rotation, uh, double jointed knees, uh, ankle pivot, that's kind of stiff right now. Yeah, ankle pivot. Uh, toes can point down this much and go up this much. So yeah, that is it for my review on this figure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully I covered everything you wanted me to. Uh, this was a hard review for me to do because with everything in it, uh, there's just a lot of stuff. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed my review. Hopefully I covered everything you wanted me to. Like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next video.